Hello everyone, welcome to Big Talk live from the nation's capital, Abuja. My name is Odikat Michael, it's a pleasure to have you tonight. Join us as we take a look at the big political issues in the country. Earlier today, President of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, I met with the president at, uh, at the presidential villa in a bit to discuss the issues of crude oil and the refined product sales in a local currency implementation and all of those negotiations uh, when he was speaking with some of the uh, pressmen. That was said that his refinery is capable of providing fuel for local production, which he has estimated to be between 30 to 32 million liters per day. Take a listen to what uh, the president of Dangote a group said today at the Asorok. We are producers. I have a refinery. I'm not in the business of retail. If I'm in the business of retail, then you hold me responsible. But what I'm saying is that the retailers should please come forward and pick. If they don't come forward and pick, what do you want me to do? That's nothing that I can do. So I am expecting either NNPC or the marketers to stop importing. They should come and collect. We have what they need. And, uh, you know, as they remove, I will be pumping. I don't know whether you understand what it takes to keep half a billion liters inside our tank. It's costing me money. Every day, if I will be able to collect the Naira, I can actually charge somebody 32% in interest. So right now, that's what I'm losing. And you are talking about 500 billion. You know, I mean, we don't print money. But the issue is that if they come and collect then you will not see any queues in the filling stations. We have what it takes for them to come and collect. We are not retailers. We also don't have trucks to send. We have a factory where we, we can load. If they come and pick, they will go and distribute. And they've been doing that with importation. So if they've been doing that with importation, if it's true they are doing 55 million, I see no reason why they won't come and collect our own. really meant well. For this country by going to court and the governors most of the governors are sabotaging it that's just the plain fact and i am begging and pleading with those countries that want to help us with our democracy to put their eyes i'm pleading with civil societies to look into these things and call these governors out so that anybody that, you know, the, the, the beauty of it, they like traveling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you, if, if, if you stop them from getting visa, it will help us. <laughs> that, well, to, so, to some extent, uh, it might be too harsh or down <laughs> on us of the God. But there's a need, I understand your plan, that there's a need to start paying attention to no, how no, they can get no, no. a local who's a develop. Now, because no. when you look at uh, the issues of this economic hardship, it's biting hard on Nigerians, no, which you are aware. It is. Because it is. there are those that probably feel that the government said they will hit the ground running from the one. And it looks at some of the policies that are introducing, in a way, are trying to push hardship to Nigeria. But it looks that state governors are not doing... Uh, the do, federal government will tell you that the state governors ought to also see what they can do to cushioning this effect. But the whole ball is still at the court of the federal government because it looks that like they took the tough decision by removing subsidy and devaluating the yeah. Naira, which has caused some of these uh, hardship. But what is the way out of all of this? Because as you pointed directly, there's a need for our uh, hands of the governors and everyone to be on deck, the civil society and everyone. Just as the role of the media we are doing, we are amplify amplifying the voices of people who say, yeah. governors, please allow the local government to work. Well, I had the privilege of meeting the... Honorable Com Minister for Budget yesterday. And uh, he educated me on some of the things that is his problems. Because I, 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 I told him that he needs to, he, needs, he, he, he really needs to start looking at expenditure more. Because people, monies are released for specific projects such projects are not done tomorrow you'll see them in the same budget same money is allocated quality of work so he needs to be more into it and he said well he has a department that does that but he will also like people like me to also tell people in the civil societies to also track such releases such projects 
so that they bring it out for all everybody to see. And he's right. You see, you and I, we must also do our own by ensuring that monies budgeted and released are effectively used. So, uh, but, but uh, coming to your question, the way out, I think is simple. It's difficult but simple. Simple in the sense that the government, the federal government, the state government need to listen more. They need to go back to the drawing board. They need to look at the impact of the policies and see where to mitigate. Some of the things must be done. But you see, if you have appendicitis, you know and I know that it must be surgically removed. But in removing it, mm. if there is no anesthetics, <laughs> the patient will die. Mm. <laughs> so because that is... That, that, you that need to is, give him something to... Uh, to, to that, is, that is where we are at. Mm. We know that these things must be done. But I'm pleading with the federal government mm. and even the state governors to look at how to find some anesthetics so that our people will survive the operation. Because it, it looks that even the president will tell you, I understand the pains, give me some more time. And Nigerians are asking, how long should we continue to bear the pains, we, which some of the people are going back home, they sleep hungry and some of these uh, hardship. Uh, there are, there are those that probably feel that he inherited a bad economy and uh, there's also a need uh, for him to tackle it from the grass. But when you look that, at That is why he started with the autonomy. And some people are sabotaging his efforts. That's what he, why he started with it. So if the autonomy is not working, it should... No, it will, they, don't worry, it will work. They, with, they, with the elections we are having today, with the caliber of individuals that have been elected into office, it will, if all of these amount see, of the money... You see, the governors have immunity. The governors have mm. immunity. Mm. Mm. But the, local, the new local government chairman should know they don't have immunity. Because we've seen where they said they will bring the money to the government as and I'm share. telling you, the mm. governors have immunity. The local government chairman don't have immunity. And I think I'll leave it at that. Is it possible to withhold the fund? Because we've seen, for well, instance, in some state they are threatening that <laughs> we, 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 well, there, 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 there will be a move to withhold some of the funds. I think, I think, I, I think uh, only the Attorney General of the Federation can answer that question because it's, there are illegal issues attached to withholding mm. funds. And uh, uh, they've, 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 they said they have done elections. Mm. You and I know they have not done elections. But you knowing, me knowing, <laughs> doesn't. It, it, so it has to go back. It will still go to the courts. Don't worry. The, it will go to the, the, the angry ones are threatening that if they dare uh, uh, withheld some of their funds, that they will burn uh, some of the facilities in the uh, regions. If uh, any judge anywhere in the country, particularly Abuja, makes such a decision. Well, That's what they, some of the people are saying. Well, it means that the people are happy about the well, election. What, what I'm telling you is this is because people are never held responsible for their actions or inactions. Because somebody that says that mm. and he's still working, then something is wrong somewhere with our, uh, our security system. Because if you threaten a judge, you should be in jail. That's, that's just, there is no two ways about it. There is no two ways mm. about it. But in all of these, is a way of trying to find a lasting solution to some of the problems you are being confronted with. Yeah. The president is having a tough time in tackling some of these. It looks at like every policy he's bringing, some Nigerians are, are likely not accepting it. It's becoming unpopular. I well, do share in that. Well, you're, you're, you're right. Uh, he might still have his popularities where he's popular, but the truth of the matter is that the policies are difficult to swallow. And as I said earlier, there is need for them to get some anesthetics for this operation because the operation is really, really painful. So, mm. and I think, I believe he's working on it. Mm. And he should also start looking at those sabotaging him. Does it look that people are trying to sabotage his effort? Uh, even the action of the governors is sabotage. Somebody will go and conduct election against uh, 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 against court judgments. <laughs> because I said, they said we are conducting election to meet up with the Supreme Court dead, huh? deadline. <laughs> uh, the Supreme Court never gave uh, deadline. But the election was important. Yeah, it's important. Is it the conduct of the election that was a problem? That's look, some of the issues we have. Look, look, look. Elections, as I said, if tomorrow or 2027, the next election go, mm. if 2027, uh, INA could come and announce that all the states have been won by APC, 
all the state houses of assembly are APC, do you think we'll have democracy? So uh, people must be held responsible. The judiciary must sit down. Once the judiciary said all these elections are null and void, they are null and void. And they will hold the, the, the money and say that until but, proper but is, elections. But there's is a that problem. There's a problem, Honorable. Mm -hmm. no, it looks that like in all of these states, no one has shown an example of that we describe. It's only in my state where one local government was given to, uh, I'm from a choir, but was given to the Senate uh, president no, 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 on, the, on the grounds oh, uh, of <laughs> some of the arrangements. <laughs> Now, those are views, probably, it was just an arrangement of selection. Yeah. Uh, in all of if, this, because if, if you go to APC State, it's the same action. You go mm. to ABGA, it's mm. the same action. You go to NMPP, it's the same action. And it, you it, go to Labour Party, it's the same action. And it looks like no man, one is showing example about APC this. Man, I didn't mm. tell you that APC did it's well. He's not doing the yes. I, t I said all the governors. But I'm an APC mm. man. There is a need for uh, them to look, pay attention look, to look, that. The, the governors, I don't know why they are afraid of opposition. Opposition is part of democracy. If, if this depends you are talking about, if all the members of the National Assembly were APC and they were are towing the line of APC, will anybody have mouth to say that he's suffering even if he's suffering? So that is why you have oppositions. But you say you, will, you, you don't even give a single councillor. It, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The, the case of Colonel... Uh, Rivers is mm. uh, miraculous. <laughs> <It's> mir <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about Rivers said that uh, the I government is PDP? Cano and Rivers. Rivers, PDP is uh, government yeah. is PDP, and the yeah. chairman are APP. I don't know. Are they not democratic enough? Well, uh, even before the election, the governor has said that the other parties will win all this, and uh, he announced them. So, so, so it looks that uh, it was the backing of the uh, governor. So, but, look, on a very serious mm. note, these governors must wake up because they will be among the biggest losers should we lose this democracy they should wake up and they should know that they are teaching APC to also that next election during the general election they can wake up and say they have won all the local government uh, all the states it's not possible now well it's possible in my state that uh, and other states that the party in power has won all so because why is it not possible? It's not possible because some Nigerians are saying the policies of this government is not making life easier for them, and that's the reason why well, they might not. So be able some to governors fight. are having issues with their people. Then they score all and the they also vote them out so, so, so. because that was no. A, what I'm saying that was the essence of election. No, no. If people do not but, do but, well, but where, where show them where out of government house. Thank you, my brother. But mm. what, what what is happening in the state elections? What is happening? They have appointed uh, not even not even caretaker committee. I don't even know what to call this, uh, these these people that they have sworn in as chairman. I don't really don't know, know what to call them. So it, it therefore it takes us back that there's a need to, for us to look at uh, institutions of conducting elections uh, at, at, the, at the state level because if what we are having uh, is allowed to stay. It means that we're still in for a very that, big that, that's, that's But that those are also said, no, we do not want Hynek to conduct this election. You see, you see, you see, that's why I started by saying they are giving us, those of us that used to support state police. Because for our security, we need state police. But with this kind of conduct, for God's sake, how can you allow uh, a governor to control police? Because there's a need, because of, uh, you know, uh, security is local. Uh -huh. Is a need to have uh, and local government elections is uh, federal. It's the same thing. Mm. It's the same thing. So if if these people cannot show leadership in conducting common local government elections, how can you uh, trust them with your, your 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 security? How can you? How can you trust them with your security? So that, that that's what I'm saying. This is this is a multifaceted thing. These elections, they see it as you see, they are making our judiciary to look bad. They are sending away investors. People are, capital is running away from this country in, in, in such an alarming rate because of the conduct of these governors. So when, once, once you show the world that your judiciary should not be respected, who will respect them then? So and who, how do you, who, those, who will bring his money? Who are those that are making the judiciary to be, uh, to be in this state? Because uh, there are those that have the concern that it looks that you know, even the judiciary are not free of corruption. They have also well, alleged those. Well, uh, well, those well, well there, is, the there is there is there is no. There, that there, people run to court. There is no. There is there is no facet 
that is free of corruption, even in the journalism. It's not ought to be a democracy. It's well, not ought to be a judiciary. Unfortunately, last of the common unfortunately, man. Unfortunately, it comes back to the same thing that we've been talking about, that people are never held responsible for their actions or inactions. Now, if one judge does this and he's held responsible for his action by the NJSC, do you think another one will do? So people should politicians be held responsible for no, some of the problems we have in a judiciary because that those that feels and if, allege that is a politician that runs no, back, you know, the to the back doors of the judges, that, that's true. not allowing lawyers to interpret the laws at the courtroom. No, they, lawyers, they, they also lawyers, find lawyers, a lawyers, different lawyers, way that, 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 that is not the judges, but it's the politicians that are, <laughs> are ridiculing our institutions, are reducing our is, institutions is that, to where it is today. Is, is, the, is the politician holding a gun to the man's head to say you must do the judge? How are we sure behind us? With a gun? How are we not sure? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we don't have guns. But, look, but, but look. in a way, they, there are critical issues about how, you know, politicians are so no, desperate, are right. are so desperate yeah, are right. to some get some of the judgment for themselves no, are right. at the detriment of justice, fairness, and equity. You're absolutely right. Some politicians do try to interfere. But unless the judge agrees to be interfered with... <laughs> <laughs> so it's a double-edged sword. What of if money is exchanged behind us? If you don't accept the money, uncle. Mm, if, if we have out of ten judges that can, if we have ten judges and uh, eight can uh, probably reject funds, and then uh -huh. the other two makes a judgment them, that probably can put its own let, state or local government let them, let, the let, 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 let them be held responsible by the NJC. That's the work of the NJC. They are the watchdog. They are the ones that can mm. punish judges. But isn't it also a call for politicians to stop all of these well, shenanigans? Well, I can, I, 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 you and I can call. For democracy to work? Yes. Because you said that governors will be the biggest losers if democracy does not, uh, is not sustained. That's true. Is it, uh, should politicians not be aware that if they don't allow democracy to work by freedom of no, judgment, all politicians the, the will, ju will lose judiciary, us. Everyone will lose? Everybody will lose. Everybody. And we'll go back to square one. Because fighting to regain democracy is not going to be easy. But there are those that are calling for military intervention in all of this. <laughs> because they, 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 let, them, let them compare the development that took place regardless of all these things from 1999 to date and what we had before. You'll see that the democracy is always better. But maybe our form of democracy needs to be looked into by those that we elected. Because if, 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 if we continue like this, we might not have it in the future. That's just the truth. Is, is it possible that we are, our democracy is being tested and we are in a trying period? Because it, it, it ought to be a dividend of democracy. Are the people really uh, having the, the feelings of democracy in all of these hardship, you know, problems in our country and all of these where we are today? Be sincere about that. Well, uh, I would say people, the generality of the people are not comfortable with it. That's just the truth of the matter. And there's because a need to do better. Th th there is need for all of us in politics to sit down, look ourselves in the mirror and tell ourselves the truth that we have failed our people. That's just the plain truth. Because there are people that are, some people that are pushing blames to pass PDP government, no. push blame to we APC, are all ATS, the same. and all of we those. All, and, and, all of us. All of those all of us. Because the, 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 the democracy will always be better. All from of all us. the actions all we are of having. All of us are responsible for this problem. All of us. If you are in opposition, you are not doing it well. If you are in government, you are not doing it well. That's just it. And we need to look ourselves in the mirror, tell ourselves the truth that things need to change. Does it look that they, they, are, they are making some sacrifices and all because you've seen where government will tell you, make some sacrifices, adjust, you know, exercise special. Well, but Nigerians will tell you that the, the leaders are not making uh, well, efforts. I, 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 mean, I, I read somewhere that uh, the president has directed the ministers to reduce their convoys. Mm. It's also a sacrifice. So I think uh, your message is reaching where it should reach. Mm. And I think the, the, the president is genuinely interested in seeing this country move forward. Do you feel so that he still has the capacity to deliver on the of job? Of course he does. 
the main problem is that <coughs> the, the, the wrath is so much that it requires time. It might not even finish in his first term. But we hope and pray that the foundation he is laying or the repairs on the foundation he is doing will start yielding fruits very soon. Me, somebody told me I should give them the next six months. I said, okay, I'll give them the next one year. Let's see how it goes. But I believe that if, if they agree, you, you have to start somewhere. If they agree with this local government autonomy, it will go a long way in ameliorating the sufferings of our people. Because most of those sufferings come from the local government. So you, you, you are arguing all of these that if they had proper election yes. and the right set of people were elected into office, yes. they, would there be any difference from, yeah, definitely, from, from the preparation of once the tournament? You, once, you know, once, once you know that you will be held responsible and accountable, once you know that if you don't do well, next election you will be out, you are bound to do well. And as I said, and I will keep reminding the local government chairman, they don't have immunity. Even the appointed ones, they should know. If they give you 100 million and you take it to the government house to be shared. <laughs> it, it, it looks that like ESCC have started putting their search light ahead of the it, it, ahead of next month. Uh, no, the, they, they have to. Because the location will start hitting the local government that's by next true. month. That's true. And EFCC said we are ready. Of course. Is that a threat? Not even EFCC. I, I, want, I want EFCC I cannot have eyes in every place. Mm. I want all of us all of us, all, we are all indigenous of one local government or the other. Let's look at what comes in and what goes out. Then we start reporting. Because uh, if you say EFCC only should look into it, uh, before it reaches your local government, it might take the next they, three or four years. They have over 700 rounds of the local government exactly. to start putting their search light on. Exactly. A very big issues and uh, of course we're trying to see but what is your final word tonight on these issues as we wrap up well as i said and i will keep repeating we thank mr president for uh the uh local government autonomy but we also would like him to put eyes to ensure that uh, in fact the national assembly to also try and see that elections are held properly so that people that work will be rewarded. People that uh, fail will be kicked out. Mohamed Sagari Wase is a former local government chairman in Plateau State and a former commissioner of commerce and assets. Thanks so much for being part of the program that's tonight. Grateful. We deeply appreciate that's your grateful. insight on the show. Everyone, that's where we wrap it up on the convention tonight. A whole lot of concern about the local government autonomy, the implementation, the move by some of the governor to sabotage the effort it's not in a way given some strength to the local government in which the election was to be conducted uh, to restore confidence among the people and allowing the free and fair election so as for people to hold the leaders, the chairman, the councillors accountable for every action. But it looks that all of these uh, shenanigans from the state in respect to local government election have been highly criticized. But in all of these, what the people are really after and interested in is development. Let's get to see a local government develop if we do have the financial, now that we have Moses. financial autonomy. That's the size of a show. My name is Edith Michael. See you tomorrow. Uh.